Now, yesterday, what are the DML operation we have done? It is a atomic DML operation. If any one of the record fail, all the records will be failed. We have performed atomic DML operation. Today, we will try to understand how to make the DML operation async. Okay, how to make a DML operation non-atomic. That means, if any one of the record fail, only the record should fail. Rest of the operation should continue. To perform the DML operation non-atomically, we have methods defined in the database namespace. Look at the format. If you want to perform DML operations, if you want to perform the DML operations non-atomically, then we have predefined methods defined under the namespace of database database dot insert this object if I give the flag equal to it will run like atomic if I give flag equal to false it will run like non-atomic first of all let us understand the results what we have we have database dot error is a predefined class in the database namespace it contains error is a predefined class in the database namespace it contains it contains some of the methods like get This will throw, this will return you error message during the DML. When you are making a DML operation, if any error occurs, the error message will be given by get message. That has get fields. The list of fields on which the error has occurred. Get field means this will return you list of fields on which error has occurred if a error has occurred in the DML operation because of a particular field on this field the validation rule failed on this field required field data is not entered on this field some data is missing because of which fields the error has occurred those list of fields will be given get fields. It will give you list of fields on which the error has occurred. So database.error is a predefined class which contains all the errors that are generated during the DML operation. While I am making a DML operation, what are the errors that are generated? All those errors are stored in get. All these errors are stored in database.error. Are you clear about this? Now when you make a DML operation of insert or update, I want to know whether it is a success or a failure. If it is a atomic, either all of them are success, none of them are success. But when you say non-atomic, some of them are success, some of them are failure. Which of them are success, which of them are failure. So I should know which records are successful, which records are failure. To know that, once you make a DML operation on any record, it is going to give you save result. It is going to give you what? Save result. Whenever we perform an operation of insert or update, it is going to return you save result. Database dot save result. Which contains the methods to return status of the DML operation. So in the save result, what are the methods we have? What are the methods? E success. When is E success? This will return you true. This will return you true. if the DML operation is success. Then we have get errors. This will return you list of database dot error. All the errors that are generated during the DML operation they are going to be. The next get ID. 
if the operation is successful, it is going to have an ID of the record. So when you say get ID, return the ID of the record on which DML is performed. Now, if the DML is success, we are going to get ID. If the DML is not success, we are going to get errors. If it is error, on which field the error occurred, what is the message? On which field the error occurred, what is the message? Are you clear about this? Right. So, let us try to do an example. Let us try to do an example. Now we are trying to understand account a1 equal to I give similarly I am giving account a2 equal to now in the account in the account In the account, name field is required field. In the account, the name field is required field. But what I have given? I have not given the name field. If you don't give the name field, what will happen, boss? The record will fail. So I have taken list of account. What are the records we have? A1 comma. How many records are there? Two records. Out of these two records, one of the record is going to fail. One of the record will fail because I have not given name. So, I am making it. If it is one record, I inserted five records. Save result on first record, save result on second record, save result on third record, save result on fourth, save result on five. So, how many results we are getting? For every record, one save result. So, we are going to get a list of save result. How many records I have taken? Two records. How many save results we are going to get? Two records. Are you getting my point? On every record, one save result. Because I have taken two, I am going to get a list of equal to database dot agcs false. Then what I want to do? I want to know which record is successful, which record is failure. So I am taking one by one record database dot save result. Then I am checking. If or not is success. If or not is success. Is it success or failure? If it is success, system dot debug. If it is not success, no, it is not success. If it is not success, what should I do? Get the list of errors. Database dot If it is not success, then get me the errors. If it is not success, get me the list of errors. Once you got the errors, what I am taking? there is then I am giving it system dot debug here dot get on which fields the errors has occurred give the list of fields because of which field the error has occurred Now, if it is success, give me the ID of the record. If it is failure, give me the reasons why they are failing. Execute. Then we are going to get record ID. One record is successful, other one is 
fail. Why it is failed? Because of name field. What is the message? Record field missing name. Are you clear? One of the record is successful, other record is failed. Let me take this record. Take the ID of the record. Open the record and see. What is the record I inserted here? Look at the format. What is the record? TCS. Phone number 123. TCS. Phone number. Are you clear about this? So if you want to run the operation non-atomically, how do you run it? Database dot insert S objects comma flag. Flag is going to be true for atomic. Flag is going to be false for non-atomic. Are you clear? Are you clear about this operation? Then database dot error is going to give you what? Errors that are occurred on the DML operation. During the DML operation on the record, what are the errors that are occurred that are fetched by using database dot error? If it is success, is success. Is success is going to true if it is a success. Is success is going to be false if it is fake. I hope I am clear. People have followed this. People have followed. If you want to run the operation non-atomically and handle the record which are success, handle the record which are failure, then we go for this format. Clear boss? The same copy I have given to you on hard copy. The same points are mentioned on your hard copy. Right boss? This is what we have done using insert. Let us go with the next operation. In the DML, we are going for a next operation. What is the next operation? Update. When do you perform an update? We have to write a query, get the data, then we can perform an update. Update operation will be performed only when data is there in the database. So if you want to perform an update, what is the primary thing that I have to do? Write a query, get the data, modify the data, update. Look at the format. What is the syntax for update? Update S object or array of S object. Update S object or array of S object. Now look at the format. Which all the account records whose industry is energy and update ownership. Update their ownership as ownership as so what I need to do, fetch all the account records whose industry is energy. List of account AGCS equal to select name ownership from account where industry equal to fetch the records. It may be one record, it may be group of records. I am not sure. So what should I do? Take one by one record. For account A, for account A, ACCS. Take one by one record, update A dot, ownership equal to, take owners, A dot ownership equal to, public, update. People are done with this. People are clear. I wrote a softball query, fetch the data, modify the records, update it. When you want to update, get the data first. Modify the data, then update the record. So what was this? Update ACCS. Update ACCS. Am I clear with this? Right. Let me take next one. Write a query to fetch all the opportunities. Next one, that's the role. Who is today? Who is sir? Stage name is. Who is stage name is sir? Close row one. And. Update their status, update their closed data as today. Write a sample query to which all the opportunities whose stage name is closed to one and update their closed data as today. So what I have to do? First write a query, write a query, list of opportunities. equal to select stage name from 
ఒక చెడి వేర్ ఏది ఇప్పుడు దర్ వాట్ ఐమ్ గోల్ టు బాస్ ఫర్ ఆపర్చునిటీ ఫర్ ఆపర్చునిటీ ఆఫ్ టీ సో వాట్ ఐమ్ గోల్ టు బాస్ ఓపీ డాట్ క్లోజ్ డేట్ ఈక్వల్ టు సిస్టమ్ డాట్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ ఫాలో ఐ ఎమ్ మోడిఫై వన్స్ యూ మోడిఫైడ్ వాట్ షుడ్ ఐ డూ అప్డేట్ right a query get the data update the data right a query get the data update the data are you clear about this format right now if you are trying to make a table operation on a group of records we call it as a bulk operation we call it as what bulk operation you can make a table like this also update okay modify update so what i'm doing within a for loop i'm writing a table operation suppose if there are 1000 records the dml will run how many times 1000 times dml run how many times 1000 times boss when you are trying to perform a dml never write a dml statement within a for loop the reason is we can only write 150 dml statements in a transaction within a method how many dml statements can run only 150 suppose if you are writing a for loop and there are 1000 records how many dml will run 1000 dml but how many you are allowed to write 150 that is the reason never write a dml within a for loop instead of that what we are doing putting all the records in a list making a dml on list if i write a dml here how many times i am writing a dml how many times i am writing a dml only once i am writing the dml only once how many dml one instead of performing the dml on every record put all the records in a list perform a dml on the list which is called bulk dml operation what is that called bulk dml operation it is called as bulk dml operation never write a dml within a for loops never write a dml within a loop put all the records in a list and perform a dml operation are you clear about this people have followed people have followed let me give you one more scenario try to understand this scenario which all the contacts of those accounts whose industry is banking and update contacts other phone number as account phone number which all the contacts of which all the contacts of those accounts whose industry is banking Test the contacts of those accounts whose industry is banking. So what I want? I want an account record with the corresponding contacts. I want account record with the corresponding contacts. Get me all the contacts of those accounts whose industry is banking. Now you want account record with the corresponding contacts. How will you get it? If you want all the account records with the corresponding contacts, how will you get it? List of account, ACCS, select name then comma select id comma other phone from contacts contacts from account where industry equal to what is it fetch me all those accounts Fetch the accounts along with the corresponding contacts where industry equal to banking. I got it. Then I told what? Update contacts other phone number as account phone number. So contact other phone number should be updated as account phone number. So what I am doing? What I am doing? Understand this point. For account A. What is the A? Account. Every account will have how many contacts? Group of contacts for contact C A dot. What does it mean? A is an account. A has group of contacts. So what I'm doing? I'm taking one by one contact. A is one account. A dot contacts is 
group of contacts. In the group of contacts, again what I am doing? Taking one by one contact. So here, contact dot other phone equal to a dot contacts other phone equal to account phone number. Then if I write update C, is it acceptable? It is not acceptable because right, it is not a good idea to write DML with any button. Then what should I do? What you want to update? Contacts you want to update. As you are trying to update the contacts, take a list of contacts. List of. Then once you modify the contact, add them to all the contacts which are you modified, add them to list. Now I am performing update. Are you clear? Now what is this operation called? Bulk DML operation. We are not performing a DML on a record. We are performing the DML on a list of records. Then it is called as what? Bulk DML operation. Then it is called as what? Bulk DML operation. People are clear? Why? Why? Within a transaction, within a transaction, maximum how many DMLs we can perform? How many DMLs we can perform? 150. To understand this, our light on small method. Logic is clear. People have followed. So when do you go for update? Paste the data, modify, update. Paste the data, modify, update. To understand this, I will go for one more example again. Public void. Create. So how many times the loop will run? 160 times the loop will run. How many times the DML is called? Insert DML is called how many times? 160 times the insert is called. How many times the insert is called? 160 times. So whenever you call a create, the insert is called how many times? 160 times. Okay. Let us make it like this. It is only 60 times boss. I made only 60. Or A equal to 1. B is less than or equal to 100. So, 100 accounts insertion. So, how many we got? How many got? 60, these are 50. When I say transaction, all the DMLs, not one tra one operation, all the DMLs within the method together, 150. Now look at this. How many? 60 plus 50 plus 50. Now whenever I say, whenever I say, D dot, whenever I say D dot create, execute, when I call create, how many DMLs are running? 160 DMLs are running. When I say 160, all together, not more than 150. All together, not more than 150. So, 60 accounts, 60 contacts, 60, 60, last time. All together, it came around 160. So, all the DMLs within a method together, 
it should not be more than 150. All the demons within the mother together, it should not be more than 150. All the demons within a mother together, it should not be more than 150. Are you clear about this? All the mothers within a mother together should not be more than 150. Now, am I clear? The same thing, if I run like this, it has thrown error message, right? Too many DML operations. Know what I am giving? SES dot add. Similarly, list of contact once again. New list of Now I am trying to make an insert. Insert ACCS. Insert cons. Insert. How many demons are wrote? 3 D. Right? This operation is called as what? Bulk demon operation. So instead of performing the demon on every record, try to put them in a list, make a demon on a list. If I run this operation, let us see. Execute any query, any issue with that, records are inserted successfully. Are you clear? So, that is the reason it is not a good practice to make a demon within a for loop. As we have limit of 150 demons within a transaction. Within a transaction means complete method together. All the demons in the method together, not more than 150. People are clear with this? People have followed? Clear for everyone? People have followed? Clear? People have followed this update operation? Right boss. Similarly, we are going for delete here. How do you delete? Delete S object comma. Array object. We are performing delete S object comma array of S object. So look at the format. Just now I inserted the records, right? So what I am doing? Just now I inserted the records. I want to fetch. Delete all the account records, with all the lead records, which are created today. Delete all the lead records which are created today. So, if you want to delete, record should be there in the database first. If the record is there in the database, then only I can delete. See, if the records are in the database, what I will do? List of lead, lead is equal to select id from lead where created date equal to where created date equal to today. How do you delete? Delete. Now sometimes you are running the operation as what? Atomic. If any one of the record failed, the entire operation will fail. Then execute. What happened? The problem came here because I executed everything. Execute only. The records are deleted. Go back to the recycle bit. Check in the recycle bit. What happened? All the records are deleted. So when the records are deleted, where they are coming? Where they are coming? They are coming to the recycle bit. They are coming to the recycle bit. How you are deleting? Write a query. Delete. List of record. Now what I want to do is... When you delete, I don't want the records to come to the recycle bin. I don't want the records to come to the recycle bin. What I'm doing? Delete all the contact records which are created today and hard delete them. Delete the records, remove them from the recycle bin also. So first how do you delete? List of Contact C1 is equal to select ID from contact where create a date equal to people are following my points write a query get the data delete the operation 
then I'm giving. Delete. You delete it. When I delete, records will go to recyclable. But what is your requirement? Records should be permanently deleted. So I'm giving database dot empty recycle bin. Empty recycle bin. What are the records you deleted? Database dot empty recycle bin. From the recycle bin, delete these records also. I deleted, remove the records from recycle bin. So go back to this. Then go to contacts and see. Go to contacts. Records which are created this week. Are you finding any records which are created this week? No records are there. I created almost 50 records. Then go to recycle bin and see. In the recycle bin also records are not there. We deleted. Deleted from the recycle bin. How did you delete? Database dot empty recycle bin. Are you clear? People are clear. How do you delete? Delete. S object or list of S object. How do you update? Update S object or array of S object. Now, I have a next requirement. My requirement is, boss, undelete the records. Undelete the records. I want to undelete the records. What do you mean by undelete the records? Undelete. Delete the records. Delete the records. What are the records that are there in the recycle bin? Undelete it. Delete the records. What are the records that are there in the recycle bin? Undelete it. So what I am doing here? Look at the format. So how to fetch the records which are in the recycle bin? Undelete all the lead records. Now, how to fetch all the records which are in the recycle bin? If the records are in the recycle bin, hello rows. If the records are in the recycle bin, hello rows. Then, out of those records, some of them are deleted, some of them are not deleted. When you say all rows, deleted records, not deleted records. But which records you want to undelete? The records which are deleted. How do you know that records are deleted? Whenever the record is deleted, is deleted equal to true. Is deleted equal to true. So what about that? Undelete all the lead records. So first I am giving list of leads. Select ID from lead where is deleted equal to true. Is deleted equal to true is deleted records. If you want all the records first, from all the rows, get me only those records which are deleted. Then I am going to undelete. How do you undelete? Undelete. Delete. Similarly, we have undelete. When you say undelete, what happened? Records which are in the recycle bin, they are going to be undeleted. Because that list of leads equal to select ID from lead where is deleted. Then go back to the recycle bin. Previously there are lead records, right? Refresh. The records are deleted from the recycle bin. Are you clear? All the records which are hard deleted, we cannot undelete. Only records, only records, only, only the records which are in the recycle bin, I can undelete. Not the hard deleted records. Are you clear about this? Are you clear about this? Now if you want to hard delete permanently, tell me. List of account AGCS equal to select ID from where created date equal to so what I am doing delete AGCS database dot empty recycle bin similarly I want to delete the lead records. If you want to delete the lead records, write a query, then database dot empty recycle bin. Like this we got. Yeah, it's a leads. Because I created around 50 records the same name I am trying to undelete them. 
delete and remove from the recycle bin. Go back. Accounts. Records which are created this week. That records are deleted. Almost 50 records are created. They are deleted. They are not in the recycle bin also. People are clear with this. So what are the statements we have? Tell me now. What are the demon operations we have? We have insert S object array of S object. Write a query. Write a query. Write a query. Get a record. If you say particular record need to be deleted or undeleted, accordingly write the query. If you write a query, we get a particular record. Okay, form the query in such a way that only you get the record. So how do you perform insert? Update S object array of S object. Then delete S object array of S object. And delete And delete S object array of People are clear. Insert, update, delete, and delete. If you want to run the same operation as non-atomic, database dot insert array of S object. The same operation non-atomic database dot update S object. The same operation database dot delete this object same database dot undelete this object false people are clear about this basic operation okay now understand we are trying to understand one of the important operation one of the important operation is that now merge the operation what is merging Look at the one. I have one account record. These are my account records. We have Vipro. We have two account records. First account record I have. We have Vipro. Phone number I have. One, two, three, four. Industry ID and then is a blank. I have Vipro, private limited. I have phone number I have not given. Like this thing. Account 1, account 2. Now this account, this Vipro has a contact. Sadish Mahila. Which is a contact of Vipro. Contact of Vipro. Then, I have Kiran. Contact for Vipro. Private team. We have account 1, contact 1. Account 2, contact. Right. Now, later on I found that both the records belong to same company. Later on we found that both the records belong to same company. Then instead of maintaining two records, I want to maintain a single record. Because both the records belong to same company, instead of having two duplicate records, I want to make it as a single record. So what I am doing? Merge account 1 and account 2. When I say merge account 1 and account 2, I told merge Vipro and Vipro I told merge Vipro and Vipro private limited. Then what happened? When I say merge, automatically what happened? For Vipro record, we already have what? For Vipro record, what is the contact we have? For Vipro record, we have a contact. Then what happened? Chain records of Vipro private limited will be reparented to Vipro. When I say merge, Vipro comma Vipro private limited, the chain records of second account will be reassigned to the first account. So who is the child account of who is the child account of Vipro Private Limited? Kiran. So Kiran's parent will be what? The 
the parent of kiran will be so it is vipro 1234 vipro 1234 when i mark the sales records of second account will be reassigned to the first the account records will not be merged now account records data is not merged it's not like vipro 123 id or give me a point the, now vipro 1234 vipro private limited id the data of these two records are not merged sale records are merged or give me a point here the data of these two records are not merged only the sale records are merged so what is the record we have vipro 1234 sale records are satish and kiran and delete vipro private limited people are clear the second account will be deleted the second parent record will be deleted sales of the second record are reassigned to first that is the meaning of merge when do you go for merge when you find there is a duplicate records when you find that there is a duplicate records we will go for merge operation when you merge sales records are reassigned to the first second record sales are reassigned to first record and second record is deleted are you clear about this arthavendama people are clear let me show you this now there are no records with the name of vipro right there are no records with the name of vipro i am showing a sample example account a1 dot a1 dot phone insert account one is inserted then i am creating a contact for account a1 then i am going to put c1 dot account id equal to so contact sadish is created for vipro then similarly i am creating one more account account a2 equal to a2 dot name equal to a2 dot industry contact c1 and then only one field c2 dot account id equal to a2 dot id so what was that vipro contact satish vipro private limited contact kiran now i am using merch a1 merch a1 id that means sale records of a2 are reset to a1 a2 is deleted Sale records of A2, sale records of <coughs> sale records of A2 are reassigned to A1, and A2 is deleted. Go back to this. Go back. See the records. What we have? One micro record. How many records I created? Two records. But how many records are left out? now look at the industry do you have any industry value so account records data is not merged only sales are merged so how many sales we have for vipro kiran and satish go to recycle bin you are finding here as what vipro are you clear so when you say merge record 1 record 
field records of record 2 are reset to record 1 and record 2 is deleted. When do you go for this? When you want to avoid duplicates. When you want to avoid duplicates, we go for an operation called merge. People are clear? Clear for the clear for everyone? Clear them all. Right. So let me let me go for the next one. Exactly. If you write A2, A1, then A1 cell will be reset to A2 and A1 will be deleted. If I write vice versa, March A2, A1, A1 cell will be assigned to A1, A1 cell will be assigned to A2, A1 will be deleted. So whatever you write second, then cell records are assigned to first. Right now? People are clear? Now, let us look at one more operation. So I hope you are clear with these operations. People have followed. Everyone comfortable with this? Right now? Clear for everyone? Clear? Change your expression, boss. Change your expressions, at least. Right. Let us go. Let us go with the next step. We are trying to put upset operation. What is that upset operation? Upset operation. If record is existing, if record is existing, update it. Record is not existing, create it. Record is existing, update it. Record is not existing, create it. Now, this is the operation what I want to perform. Look at the example. I am writing a query. List of account. AGC is equal to select ID comma phone from account where name equal to so what I told get me the account records whose name is Vipro. Now if you get it, how many records are there? One record is there. Is this record is inserted? Record is not an inserted. Already one record is there in the database. This is the second record. The records which are there in the database, take them one by one record. Account A, ACCS. A dot phone equal to. So the records which are there in the database, write a query, get the records, modify. You are modifying. What is the second record? You are trying to print. Is it there in the database? It is not there in the database. Third record. A2 equal to. New account. A2 dot phone. Now, will A2 be success or failure? A1 is okay. First group of records which are there in the database, I paged. Second record, I am trying to insert. Third record, I am trying to insert. But what happened? Second record I gave name and phone number. Third record I gave only phone number. Then automatically what happened? Third record will pay. Now I am saying ACCS dot add A1 ACS dot add Now total how many records are there in ACCS? Three records. One the record which I fetched from database. Second record A1. Third record X. Now what I am doing? I am trying to make a DML operation. Database dot Upset. Upset. Are you going to get a single upset or list of upsets? List because we are taking three records. Result equal to. How do you make non-atomic operation? Database dot upset. ACCS comma. Non-atomic means what? Database dot upset list of records false. How do you take one by one record? For database dot upset result. First, I want to see whether it is a success or a failure. If or not is success. If it is success, okay. no, it is a failure. If it is a failure, what should I do? 
get me the errors how do you get the errors database dot database dot error or dot get errors if it is success no problem if it is a failure get me the errors then i am taking one by one error for database dot errors then what i am giving system dot debug fields because of which fields you got the error er dot get and also i want to get the message system dot debug then i want to print one message here system dot debug insert field now i am writing some code to indicate that right now if it is a success if it is a success now i have a question mark if it is a success is it insert or update right if it is a success then we have a question mark is it insert or update because it is an upset if record is there update record is not there create so it is a success now i should know whether it is a success updation or creation so what i am doing again if or dot is created system dot debug record create for the record that is created or dot no it is not created then obviously it is going to be what is what it was if when you are making an upset check whether it is a success or a failure if it is success check whether it is a created or updated if it is a failure just print the error message people are clear let me run this go back and see the message what is it record updated the first record is updated which record is updated let us go and check wipro record is updated why wipro record i wrote a sample query brought the data i wrote a sample query and fetched the data because the record is already existing it updated record is created which record is created the second record is created which record in our case tcs the tcs record is created if record is already existing if record is already existing update it if record is not existing create it if any problem occurs throw error message so what is the operation database dot upset database dot upset database dot upset database dot upset now tell me database dot insert database dot update database dot delete database dot undelete are you clear concept is clear right am i people are clear with this now let me give you one more time now insert s object array of s object what is the case insert all or fail all the all the records will be inserted or all the records will be failed now similarly update all the records will be updated or all the records will be failed so there is no problem with this either all of them are inserted none of them are inserted but when it say when it say database dot insert then what happened when it say database dot insert what happened some of the records are inserted 
Some of the records are failed. Now I should know which records are inserted, which records are failed. That is the reason I am using what? Database dot save result. If I save result, if it is success, get me the ID. Similarly, if I say database dot offset update, again what happened? Some of the records are successful, some of the records are failed. I want to know which records are success, which records are failed. That is the reason I used database dot. In the save result, what I am taking is success, then get me the ID, is failure, point out the ID. Right. Now you are trying to make a delete database dot S object. What I am getting here? Database dot delete. Is success is failure. Upset result, upset result. Merge result, merge result. Like that, we are going to have corresponding result object. Corresponding result object. People have followed this. When we require this database dot save result, database dot delete result, when it is a non-atomic. If it is atomic, we don't need it. If it is atomic, don't need it because all of them are success, all of them are failure. When it is a non-atomic only, we should know which is success, which is failure. To know that, we require save result, update result, delete result, merge result. In that, what is the function name? Is method. Sorry, is success. If it is success, yes. Fail, get the errors. Concept of the way, number. People have followed. People have followed. Okay. Now, I will go with one quick example. Yesterday, we have seen one example where I created an account contact and opportunity. Do you remember? Do you remember? Okay. Now, look at the format. Look at the format. I'll so do you have any account records now? There are no account records. Now we are trying to understand some concept called save point. We are trying to understand a concept called save point. What is the save point? Now let us see. Right. Let us say you have planned for a movie boss. You plan for a movie along with your girlfriend, you plan for a movie. Right. At 9.30, the show is at 9.30. You came at 9. Okay. You came at you came at 9.30. She came at 9.40. You asked why are you late? The immediate answer is what? In 1935, on source date, we booked for a movie, that day you came late. But I didn't ask him. In 1980, so what happened? Instant is what? Right now when the error occurs, their reference will go to what? The history. The reference will go to what? History. Because everything that happens in your conversation, everything that happens will be recorded in their building. Recorded boss. Whenever they want, they will pull out the point. What is that? Anything that is happening, they will save it. And they give a reference to that boss. This is the instant. This instant should be referred under this one name. So for every instance, they give a name and they say whenever they want to refer to that point, they will say simply call the save point 1. When they say save point 1, the old data will be pulled out. Are you getting a point? Right now you are running, but whenever they want, they can refer back to the old data and call it. How they can refer to old data? By using a name. What is that name? Save point. Are you getting a point here? So referring to the old instance, referring to the old instance, let me give you Another example, you are writing a notepad, in the notepad you typed something, you saved it, right, you saved it, again you started typing something, then what happened, there is a power cut, then what will happen, what data will be lost, after saving whatever you typed that is lost, but whatever you saved that is still available, right, if something wrong happens, whatever you typed after saving only that is lost. Am I right? So what is it? Whatever I typed, I saved it. I saved it. Right? I saved it. Then I started writing. So if something goes wrong, whatever that happened after saving the file, that is lost. But before one is successfully saved. Are you getting my point? Same example we are doing with database. Same example we are doing with database. Are you getting my point? Now look at the point. Look at this point, everyone. 
So, list of, let me take, integer, count, select, count from account. Then I am trying to print system.debug. Before, save point. Before creating the save point, how many records are there? Then I am creating a save point. Save point s equal to database dot save point. I created a save point. That means whatever the data that is available at this moment, at this moment, whatever the data that is available in the database. Refer the data with the name called S. At this moment, right now, at this moment, whatever the data we have, refer the data with the name called S. Whatever the data we have in the database, at this moment, refer the database with the name called S. Then I am trying to create a account. Look at the format. Right? Account. dot name then I'm trying to create a contact contact C new contact C dot last name C dot account ID equal to A dot ID So, I, I didn't give last name, I gave first name. When I give only first name, what happened? Record will fail. Because the last name is a must. As the last name is a must. Last name is a must, but I didn't give the last name. Then what happened? Accord is successful. Then while I am inserting the contact, there is a problem. Well, there is a problem in the creation of contact. I am printing a message. Come to exception. Debug. Now what happened boss? Will the account be success or failure? Account is going to be success. When the contact failed, it will go to, it will go to what? It will go to exception. But already account is inserted successfully. Right? Let me run this. Let me run this. Again, the phone records. How many account records are there? So, I am trying to do it. Now, in this case, what happened boss? In this case, contact failed. When the contact failed, only contact will fail. Account is successful. Right? So, execute highlighted. Go and see the what happened? How many records are there at the same point? 50 records. After this, how many records are there? 16. Contact failed, but still whatever the insertion that we made on account is successful. Because I wrote try catch, when the problem occurred on the contact, it went to catch handy. But before the operations are successful. Whatever the operation we have done before, they are successful. That means account is already created. Account is already created, but only contact failed. That's the reason how many contacts we got? How many accounts we got? 16. Before, 15, but after, 16 is there. But what is my requirement? I am saying, boss, if you want to insert, insert both account and contact. If any one of the record fail, cancel the complete operation. If you want to perform, insert account as well as contact. Otherwise, don't do anything. If you want to perform, insert account and contact. Otherwise, don't do anything. Are you getting my point here? 
perform all the operations or don't perform any operation. But here what is happening? If any one of the operations failed, only that operation is failing, rest of the operation is continuing. But according to my requirement, perform both of them or reject both of them. Perform both of them or reject both of them. We cannot say atomic. Atomic means what? List of accounts. List of accounts I am trying to insert. It is atomic. It is not list of accounts. One account, one contact. Both of them are independent. Now I want both of them to be performed or none of them to be performed. Then what I am doing? Try catch. Here is the catch I am writing. Database got. Roll back. Roll back. What is the save point I give? Yes. Boss, if anything happens in the try block, it will come to what? Catch. When do I come to catch? When there is a problem. If any problem occurs in the try block, cancel entire operation, go back to the save point S. Yes. When you say go back to the save point S, yes, whatever the data that is there, at the time of filling the save point, keep only the data, rest of the things deleting. At the time of creating the save point, whatever the data we have, only keep that. Later on, whatever the changes you made, remove those changes. After the save point is, yes, whatever the changes I made, remove all those changes. When I say roll back to S, yes, after the save point, whatever the changes I made, remove all those changes. Only keep the data that is available at the time of save point S. Yes. When you are creating a save point S, yes, Whatever the data is there, keep only the data, remove all the changes that you made. Are you getting my point? Now, here what failed? When the contact failed, come back to catch. When it comes to catch, what is saying? After the save point, whatever the changes you made, remove it. What is the change you made? Insertion of account. The account will be deleted. The account will be deleted. Now execute. Concept of the window. People have followed this concept. Then go back to execute. What happened? How many records are there? Before save point 16, after save point also 16. That means whatever the account record that is successfully inserted, that is removed from the database. Are you getting my point? So when do you use this? Perform all the operations or don't perform any operation. In that case, we will go for what? Save point. When you create a save point, whatever the data that is available at this point, create that reference. Later on, if any changes are done, undo all the changes. Undo all the changes. When you say roll back, undo all the changes that you made after the save point. Undo all the changes that you made after the save point. There is a point of save point and roll back. Are you getting? When it is used, Perform all the operations or don't perform any operation. What is atomic? Insert all, don't insert all. Okay, insert, update all, don't update all. What is save point? Perform all the operation or don't perform all the operation. Atomic is with respect to one DML. Save point is with respect to multiple DMLs. Are you clear? People are clear with this? People have followed? Clear for everyone? Clear ma? Clear? I hope I am clear with these operations. That's all from my end. That's all from my end. So, this online people, that's all from my end. I have removed the videos from the links, Vimeo. I am sorting it. Once I sort it, I will upload it again. I have removed the videos from the Vimeo as people started downloading. So, I forgot to block the download. So, I removed all the videos. Again, I will re-upload and give the password. Right. Yes. Go ahead.